Welcome to Bahasa Indonesia, lesson 17a, 17a. Verbs with the suffix kan. We have the, the prefix m plus the verb and the suffix kan. All fairly straightforward. The examples given in the book will explain this much clearer. Very important lesson, as is all the as are all the grammatical lessons in this book. Masuk, to enter. Memasukkan is to put in or to insert. Saya memasukkan celana saya ke dalam kopor. I put my trousers in the suitcase. Keluar, to go out. Mengeluarkan, to take out. Supir, mengeluarkan mobil dari garasi. The driver is taking the car out of the garage. Bangun, to wake up. Membangunkan is to wake somebody up. Istri saya membangunkan saya jam sembilan pagi. My wife woke me up at nine in the morning. Jatuh, to fall. Menjatuhkan, to drop. Pesawat udara itu menjatuhkan makanan di daerah, daerah itu. The, tr the plane dropped food in the area or on the area. Tinggal, to stay or to remain. Meninggalkan is to leave. Waktu Hans berumur 10 tahun, dia meninggalkan Berlin. When Hans was 10 years old, he left Berlin. Ada, to be or to exist. Menadakan, to bring into being or to hold something, a party or something. Pada akhir tahun ini, Kami akan menadakan pesta besar. At the end of this year, we'll hold a big party. The examples underneath this are words that have ber in them. The examples will make this clear again. Berkata, to say. Menatakan, to tell. Saudara White menatakan bahwa dia akan berangkat hari Rabu. Mr. White told that he was leaving on Wednesday. Berjalan, to walk. Menjalankan, to put in motion, to drive or to run. Siapa yang akan menjalankan mobil baru itu? Who will drive the new car? We don't hear that very much in Indonesian regarding cars, mostly for machinery, to menjalankan mesin. So we don't hear it in relations to cars. That's an old an old thing that the m plus the kan verbs are not necessarily formed from verbs but they are also derived from adjectives the prefix m plus the adjective and kan as a suffix the examples here that he gives these are very useful words to know besar large membesarkan to enlarge membesarkan foto to enlarge a photograph. Betul, correct. Membetulkan is to repair or to correct. Membetulkan radio, to repair a radio. Bersih, clean. Membersihkan, to clean. Membersihkan kamar, to clean the room. Lepas, to be free or to be loose. Melepaskan is to set free. Melepaskan anjing, to, to set the dog free. Terang, light or clear. Menerangkan is to make clear or to explain. Menerangkan pelajaran, to explain a lesson. Similar to other transitive verbs, the m and the kan verbs also have the form d. Right, so we can use them in passive is what he's saying here. Masuk, dimasukkan. One itu dimasukkannya ke dalam kantongnya. So the money was placed into his pocket by him. We usually say in English, we usually use the active form there. More commonly, that would be translated as he put the money into his pocket. In Indonesian, we quite often use the passive form there. It sounds very very common in Indonesian. Betul, 
dibutulkan, to be repaired. So they're just the passive forms. Mesintik yang rusak itu belum dibetulkan. The typewriter, that's an old-fashioned thing too, the typewriter that is, that is broken hasn't yet been repaired. Likewise, the imperative, that is, when we ask somebody to do something, we drop the m prefix, the m form. Masukkan buku-buku itu ke dalam lemari buku. Put the books into the bookcase. Bangunkan aku besok jam lima. Wake me up tomorrow at five in the morning. Jangan jatuhkan glass itu. Don't drop the glass. Hopefully that all helps. This lesson will probably be divided into four parts up to D. Follow them all and good luck with it all. Salamat belajar.